Do you have to repair electronic? Do you have to remove a component? You want to know which one is the best uh, solder? This one, the regular one, or maybe uh, soldering station? So I'm going to tell you the differences uh, between them and also I'm going to tell you a little bit my experience. So basically, if you have to remove, let's say, a capacitor, I've been uh, replacing some capacitor that they were bad. So, uh, and if you're having, you know, uh, some issues with that, it's, it's easy if you have the, the right tool. So, I'm going to tell you, if you buy one of these, uh, the cheapest one, the problem, the heat is no, it's not good enough because it, you have the heating element is in this area and you have the, the tip uh, here. So, basically, if you have to remove, let's say, you want to remove a, capa a capacitor and then you have to, you know, uh, you have to heat this up in order to remove it it's going to be a pain in the butt you're, you're not going to have enough heat in order to remove it or you're going to stay here you know like 10 minutes or 5 minutes uh, in order to to unsolder also i was uh, teaching in another class how to uh, do it but if you are having some issues you have to do this and you have the cheapest one all you have to do is just put a, a this the thing with lead so the way it will help you you know to uh, and solder the, the, the component and that's it. You put uh, something like that and, and then after that you heat it, you uh, pull it and that's it. So and also you're going to need one of these uh, pumps in order to suck you know the um, the thing and uh, basically it works like that. So you put it where you want uh, to unsolder, push here and that's it. Easy. So the, that is the, the thing. Uh, for instance this is one of the best one that I like because uh, here you can control the, the temperature, you can, you know, rotate uh, this uh, dial that you have here and you can uh, set the, the, the temperature. Other than that, uh, between the regular one without this and uh, with this, I mean, this is the, the best one. Uh, the only thing, I, I mean, this is, I think, good enough if you are, you know, soldering my, maybe some wires or something like that. Other than that, I don't recommend it. It's very, very basic and for electronics is not very good. So now I'll show you the other one. So this to me is the best one that you can buy. This is the HACO FX951. So uh, this one is very good. You can control the, the temperature up and down. Also, if you have, you know, main employee, employees or something like that, you have a key. So basically you can set the, the, the temperature and then you can remove the, the key that you have here. And then this will be set in place and the employee will not be able to, to change the, the temperature. And also uh, here you can pull this out and then you can replace the whole thing. Just in case, if you have to replace the, the, the tip, uh, that will be one option otherwise. Uh, if you want, you can do this, push it like that, and you can replace this. So the, the difference between this and the regular one, for instance, the one that comes with the uh, soldering station uh, like this, uh, is uh, like as, as I said before, the heating element is here in the in the in the tip. So basically, you're going to have better. A temperature and it's going to warm up uh, or heat up like very very uh, fast uh, with this so as you can see and after a while uh, well, you easy to replace just take this out put the new one in and that's it if you want different um, tips you can do it so and that is very very easy so in my case i have uh, two of these I, ha I have this i have another one that is very thin uh, with this the quality is is bad and like i said the heating ele element is here and um, as you can see this is broken already so basically the heating element is here and you have to transmit the temperature to, to here so I don't like it uh, a, a lot so also this is Hako you can get you know parts anywhere uh, with the Chinese who knows maybe you have to buy the whole thing uh, all over again so um, another thing that, that you can uh, use in order to unsolder and I am going to show you something else that I forgot so here, as you can see, we have a this. Here you can put the the solder uh, like that, and when you put it uh, like that, it has a a switch here on on this area. So as you can see, and this goes uh, here in the in the back. So that way, when you put this uh, here, it will turn off the the heating element here, and uh, it's going to last uh, longer. So um, you can turn it off from enough uh, and on from from here. Very very easy. 
Uh, another thing that you can do in order to unsolder things uh, very quickly, I made another video about this. If you want, you can watch it in my playlist. So uh, you have uh, this, I, I don't use it, <laughs> that it was, <laughs> it's a little bit dust, dusty. I don't use it that much. So here you can turn on the, enough the, the soldering. Uh, here you have the hot air, This the hot air is for here, for the handle, and here you can connect the soldering that I just showed you before. Here you can control the, the air, so usually I have it maximum, at least for my case. Here you can control the, the temperature uh, for the soldering, and here for the for the handle. Other than that, and here you can unplug, unplug in uh, the, the soldering. So this brand, at least, is good enough. I had it for a few years, and uh, for now I, ne I never had any issue. The only thing is the, the soldering that I don't like much. So if you have to unsolder something, this, you don't need to uh, use uh, this or anything like that. So I, I made another video if you want to see. So basically you grab the the capacitor or whatever part you want to remove. So for instance, let's say if, if it's a capacitor, just uh, put it like that, very close. Make sure that you protect with a tape around the the other components. Otherwise you're going to, you know, unsolder the, the other things and just pull and that's it. Very good. I, I like it and you know if you if you don't want to deal uh, with this uh, sometimes even if you have the, the hacko and you have to remove a capacitor like I was uh, doing it sometimes it's a little bit dif difficult but uh, with uh, this uh, type of heat gun you can change the the, the tips and then you can just solder where or unsolder or heat up where you need and you can pull and it's very quickly it's like blazing fast so that is my experience with these type of things I'm going to leave in the video description the links for everything if you want to buy something like that and if you're outside the United States you want me to ship you something just let me know I can send it to you worldwide and remember if you want to know when I upload the video I have my whatsapp in the video the description also if you want to ask some question you can do that as well thank you for watching and see you next time